are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Road rants for Black and White Sports very quickly. Make sure channel memberships are available to support this channel. We are growing like crazy right now. 12,000 new subs in the last 28 days, over 1.2 million views. We're rocking right now. We're rocking. And let's talk about something. I was watching a video from Jason Whitlock. He's one of my favorites on OutKick the Coverage. And make sure you go subscribe to their channel. He does a good video series called Fearless, and he did a video called Cowardice. Okay? And he's talking about the NFL and some of the social justice initiatives they're going to do. As it seems, they want to head straight down the path of the NBA. But frankly, I'm starting to think the NFL may end up looking worse in this thing. You know, the NBA does have the China thing in the background as well which I guess is always going to keep the NBA maybe worse. But look, the NFL have de- has decided to put all this bullshit lettering in racism and some other crap on their field because they're going to bring politics into a situation when people just want to watch people play ball to relax. But then Jason Whitlock says the following. Bam! Troy Vincent said that players have a right to sit out games over social injustice. Players have a right to sit out games over social injustice. I, these pampered millionaires. That's right. NFL athletes, NFL players are going to have the ability to take a social justice day off? Are you kidding me? These entitled elitist pampered athletes are going to take a day off because their feelings are hurt over some criminals? Are you kidding? Roger Goodell and your league, could you blatantly more spit in the face of common sense Americans? To law-abiding citizens, hard-working Americans, oil field workers, coal mine workers, steel workers, first responders, police, firefighters, nurses, retail employees. By the way, all of those that's kept your asses afloat during COVID-19. And they can take a day off because their little feelings get hurt? Are you kidding? Is the NFL absolutely hell-bent on destroying the league that has been built? I can't believe that. You're going to give a day off. Let's be honest. Because of things that happened by their own actions from criminals. Flat criminals. And by the way, NFL, when can we expect the Ray Rice Day? What about a celebration at halftime for Ray Carruth or Greg Hardy? Do you not remember Those NFL train wrecks that your league had to try to get itself out of that took over the media landscape for weeks at a time? Ray Rice was everywhere. Greg Hardy was everywhere. Ray Carruth was everywhere. Your league had to try to get its way out of that PR nightmare. Roger Goodell. Jacob Blake is a sexual assaulter. He's a monster. He forcefully put his fingers in a woman's vagina. 
I guess the NFL doesn't support the Me Too movement. It's funny how all of those damn crazy ass leftists all disappeared all of a sudden. I guess one false narrative is good for another one, right? Guess they move out of the way for one. I didn't know false narratives could actually cancel each other. Leftists are trying to make up the rules. Let me get this straight. My 89-year-old father, who worked 50 years in the oil field industry as a pipe fitter, pipe superintendent, superintendent over refineries in South Texas, general foreman, foreman, working sometimes seven twelves for three or four or six months at a time. No days off. You're going to let these entitled little pricks put a middle finger in everybody's faces like my father. Roger Goodell, Troy Vincent, you do, you truly do look like bozos right now. Like a bunch of damn clowns. And I'm starting to think every player in your league is a bunch of clowns. Maybe this side of Jason Witten and Tyler Eifert. And have we gotten any confirmation that David Dorn's name is going to be allowed? What if one of these athletes want to put Jesus Christ's name on there? How's that going to go down? That's going to get interesting. What if one decides to put Donald Trump's name on the back of it? The false narrative of oppression, police brutality, 14 unarmed black people died in 2019. Almost twice as many whites. Common component in all of them, resisting arrest. And you and the NBA are willing to burn down your leagues over it. The NBA just had historically bad first round playoff ratings. And the and common sense Americans wouldn't piss on those fucking a basketball players if they were on fire at this point. Out there making dangerous statements. A black man just burnt LeBron James down over his bullshit statement about all black men are scared of cops. He said, no, no, I'm not, and neither are my sons. You guys are preaching something that's false and dangerous, and you're about to ruin your league over it. You're going to give these guys social justice days off. You're truly willing to alienate yourself from 50% of your fan base, maybe more. I know people that's got cowboy media rooms that are in the process of ripping them out. That's what you have done. Your fan, day, fan base is literally ripping down their team rooms that they spent money to build because you have decided to insult common sense, law-abiding Americans that are never, never, never going to celebrate criminals ever. People think this is about race. No, it is about legality. It's about criminality. White or black. People are, look, people on in Common Sense America are not going to prop up criminals. They are not. They're not making them martyrs. They're not making them heroes. They're not making a sexual assaulter a freaking hero ever in life. They might put him in a spaceship and launch his ass into space, but they're damn sure not making them heroes. You have destroyed, you're going to destroy this league. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. 
it's going to come to a point where hearing from your players is going to make us sick, nauseated, turn the TV off. I know you think you are a television juggernaut that cannot be taken down. Do not give moderates and conservatives a mission to destroy your league. Do not give them that mission. Because it's a mission, I can tell you, from the rampant nature and the growth of this channel, Outkick Sports Wars, and the comment sections and the fire and the fury during live streams that people, it's a challenge people are willing to accept in destroying your league if you choose to go down this path. Days off on behalf of criminals. Why don't y'all get the fuck out of the NFL and let some of those dudes from the XFL step up? Maybe they got some bigger balls than you assholes. Freaking pansies. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.